I, and I feel healthy. Our hope is that other in, individuals who either join us in the fast, and we're amazed at those who are, are already joining in the fast, that individuals will pray. Texas State Representative Victoria Neve on a hunger strike for a couple days now, at least until tomorrow. She does not like Texas's push to ban cities, counties, and universities from becoming sanctuary zones to protect illegals, including criminals. Joining me now is Ruth Johnston Martin, her husband, a police officer, Don Johnston. He died, basically, from complications after he saved the life of a senior citizen but he was shot and paralyzed by an illegal immigrant from Asia. Her husband passed away a de about a decade after this horrific disgrace of a crime due to related injuries. Good to see you, Ruth. Thanks for coming on. First, your husband's a Thank hero. You, Ruth, can you tell yes. us his story? Well, yes, absolutely. We were married for only five months. Uh, just, he was my best friend, uh, an amazing man. And he answered a call, it was a, it was a basic call at a bank, someone was trying to cash a check on a closed account. When he walked into the bank, he saw the suspect immediately walking toward him. Um, what we found out later is this person had told uh, people in the bank that he was going to kill the man in uh, armor. And he pulled out his weapon, my husband immediately uh, pulled out his service revolver, and it was at that moment that an elderly man stepped right in between them. And my husband having just regard for this man's life, he took that second to push him out of the way. And that was at the very moment that he was shot. He was shot through the neck. It exited his spine. Um, he was left mute. He couldn't speak. Uh, his vocal cord was severed. And he was paralyzed from T1, T level down. So it was a chest level down couldn't use his arms, legs, couldn't speak to me. So for the first few months, uh, all we could do was just try to communicate through just visual. It was, it was the most difficult thing that we've ever had to go through. You know, our hearts go out to you, Ruth. It is such a disgrace that this happened. It is horrific. We are so sorry this happened to you and your hero of a husband. Um, we, we like your thoughts on Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi. She says that anti-sanctuary city legislation it's driving fear in her congressional district. What doesn't she understand about families like yours? I think that if she took a moment to speak to our families, to understand just the trauma, the tragedy, and it's a domino effect. Uh, my husband and I wanted to have a family. We, we had hopes of owning a home together and growing old together. I don't have children. So when that act was committed, it took away the family that I truly wanted to have. I think that she's lost her way. I think that if she had an opportunity just to sit round table with uh, some of the family members that you just aired, uh, Laura Wilkerson and Dan Golfich, we've all lost someone that we love tremendously. Now, the prosecutor in the case told me and my husband at his sentencing that this man that shot him was in this country illegally. That's all I know. Because of the laws of the state of California, I don't know the specifics on the case, but this man had been arrested days before he shot my husband. Now it goes back to that whole story about uh, the detainers. We should be able to entrust that when there's an illegal alien or a refugee who is here past his visa and he has committed a crime, I should be notified. Yeah. End of story. And uh, unfortunately, you have individuals who are on hunger strikes. Um, that to me is a little... <sighs> A, a little almost comical because you're talking about praying and fasting over a criminal act. Ruth Johnson. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, we hear you loud and clear, Ruth Johnson Martin. And you know what? We thank you for your service to our country because, in your way, telling the story, you're really doing a great deal of, of good. And thank you for your hero, police officer of a husband. Thank you for your story. Thanks for coming on. Thank you so much. Sure. We are monitoring the White House tax.